Afternoon all, no respawns here. Hope you're doing well. So we're back in Sanctuary. I haven't been here in a while. I don't know how long it's been, but it's been been a while. So I thought on kind of leaning from the Croup Manor video and how I mentioned I was gonna do a video actually showing you how I made my roof garden, I thought, well, I have no idea what to put on top of Jun and Marcy's house. And a roof garden seems a great idea considering I don't actually have a garden anymore. The 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 like vegetable plot thing is behind outside the settlement right now because I just haven't actually got around to setting up so now here it is yay there is it's actually quite a small one so it is you notice it's quite a short video and this will be quite a short roof garden however it's cool because where the shop is I'm gonna demolish that entire thing because that is pre-mods shop and we need to make something a lot cooler and then I'm gonna put like a little my little baby hydroponics thing on the top I'm not sure I'm gonna it, it'll be fine we'll have enough food also there's dog meat making weird shapes over there so what I just did just then is I've got the scaffolding stairs. This means, oh, hey, Colin. Hi, Colin. That's Colin. For those of you who don't know, that's Colin. That's my pet ghoul. It's fine. He's cool. I once accidentally killed him and had to reload a much earlier save because it hurt my feelings. I didn't like it. Love Colin. Anyway, so what I'm doing right here is you can see I've used... So basically, the scaffolding floors don't snap to the... Or many of them. I think it's the normal bland square ones do. They don't scrap to the normal floors, right? Except the small ones. You'll learn which ones snap which. But anyway, the reason why I keep changing floors off and adding them on is so then I can snap the different style of floors on, which eventually leads me to be able to snap these shack foundations on. What I was just fucking around with there was the fact that I was gonna, instead of using shack foundations, was thinking of using the... her gem of her, what do you mean called? The scaffolding? Instead? It's like that robot hanging around there as well. Um, I'm, I'm going to get on a rant about the robots in a second, actually. But yeah, basically, so I was going to use the scaffolding, but instead opted for the shack foundation. Right, anyway. Anyone having this? Loads of my robots. I have two... Ro well, three, if you include, include Codsworth. Robots in Sanctuary. Oh, it's normal. Higgins, the red one you see plumping around. Buddy. Who's Buddy? And... What does this say? Um, Codsworth. Codsworth. There's a bug recently where my robots keep resetting their position changing their position. I'm not sure if it's resetting it actually, or it's changing where their home is. It's very, very random because I've got another robot here and I had Slogbot. Those of you who've seen my Slog video definitely go watch it. It's fucking one of my best settlements I've ever done. But my my robots keep moving settlement and I don't know why. I think it might have happened after a certain event. Something I did that caused all of my robots to suddenly just randomly change where their home is. But it's, it's really annoying because all of my settlements had robots in it, and now very few of them do. It's it's annoying, so it has to has to has to find my robots. But Slogbot, oh, still got that stupid glitch as well, where robots can't set, be set as provisioners because they eventually reset their robotiness, which is annoying. But anyway, that's my rant about robots. Fuck's sake, what the hell happened? Anyway, so we're using the cinder blocks now. That, again, this is really simple. But I just wanted to show you what I do. So you notice when I'm rotating it there. The cinder blocks, one side can be positioned closer to another thing than the other side. See, 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 look at that. Just as a little note. So if you're having trouble putting them close together, just rotate the damn thing and you'll be fine. Incidentally, don't do what I'm doing here. Do the uh, the railings, wall parts of this first. You'll see in a second I have to take a load of them off and do them again because of the fact that I couldn't put the railings on. Just an FYI. See, there's Higgins down right there, yeah, and there's Colin. So they're meant to be here. Ah, oh, look at Higgins. I absolutely love the Tractrons, by the way. I've mentioned this before. They're great. They're just just awesome anyway you see right here so i'm using the weed planters which i love we've mentioned this before but why didn't we have those before but you can't use the uh the pre-planted planters for whatever reason on this little build here i mean you could if it was if you were i don't know maybe pillar glitch them or something i guess um but the, i don't know why but just yeah the only reason it's annoying is just because you'll see in a second when i put the food in putting the stuff, food in the planters can be a little bit frustrating because they don't always fit in properly, um, especially with the corn. Potatoes, awesome, because they always fit in everything, but you can't put more than two mute fruit on and you can't put more than two pieces of corn on. It's bloody annoying. So because I'm an absolute muppet, I'm going to do my railings. So the railings snap on, but I want to add in the half wall railings as well because it looks cool. But naturally, it's a bit of a, bit of a dick. See, I can't because because of the because of the stupid planters, so I have to take them off and move them black. But don't worry, it's just a it's just a quick little readjust, shall we say? I like this half shack wall. It looks really nice. It's really really nice. Also, you can see in a second it has very very nice collision. God, this is such an awesome. Look at that generator in the back. Can you see my generator? Oh, look at my generator. 
Oh, it's so good. Yo, don't worry, I will get the tour of this done at some point. I do need to just sit down and finish it off. But I've got to demolish the shop across the road. And I've got loads of decorations. So those of you who obviously, you know, subscribe to me for a while know that I, I read, you know, I think I mentioned this earlier, but I, you know, I changed um, Sanctuary up completely when we got mods. It's loving it, but there's so much work to do. I don't want to destroy that shop because there's so much I have to take apart. <laughs> that thing is full of junk and decoration. That was one of my most heavily junk decorated places, especially, um, what's her name? Riley's actual store is just so full of stuff, so I have to redo the whole thing again. But this time with OC Decorator, I just, I just, I just can't be asked. but I will do it. Mainly because I want to finish Sanctuary now. I've actually nearly finished most of my settlements, just to let you know. Don't worry, I'm just going to get the workbench out of them anywhere mod. And I've still got, you know, Far Harbor settlements as well, so we've got loads to do. But I'm um, in, like, actual... The Commonwealth? Kind of nearly already done, most of them, I think. It's quite crazy. Yeah. But you see what I'm struggling here with putting... Like, I usually like to rotate my mute fruit and so they're not facing the same direction. I can do it with the tatoes, they're fine, which is why I end up having six tatoes, because tatoes are cool. But, yes, the corn, the corn is the worst, check this out. Put it in the corner, and you think, oh, I put it there and I put it in the centre, right, right, no, 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 because fuck you, that's why. So you have to have two. It's not fair. It's stupid. I just have tatoes, a soft but I use for basically my glue. So there we go, and that's all the food. Doesn't support much food, wouldn't actually be enough to support this um, the settlement. However, I will also, you get, there's a mods, look for them, I can't really link them, that give you uh, loads more food, so like, uh, you know, brain fungus, tar berries, you saw them on the menu there, Th things like that, and I'm, I'm gonna have my little drug production place, hippie lab thing, which is gonna be potentially above where the shop is now, which will make up for the rest of the food, because it's grand. Okay, so I do tidy up the plywood, don't worry. <laughs> this is me thinking, oh yeah, I can just put it anywhere, it's fine. No, David, y you, you can't put it anywhere, that will look stupid. So I've got my little refilling fog condenser. I like this, it looks cool. Also, it looks really cool at night because it glows and it just makes noise and just makes me happy, you can hear it. And it doesn't poke through the bottom, as you can see, so it's cool. I just wanted it. Looks cool. It's a very small little roof garden, this. As I said, I want it to be kind of like a, a tiny, almost an allotment. You know, it's just a tiny little place. Because I didn't want these roofs to be as massive as they used to be. You'll see, I've got my little shack thing above my house. And then above the other one, I've still got my bar, which is awesome. I'm going to show you the little decoration here. It's very, very simple. It's very, very cool. Chemistry station. Because you always got to have the chem station. But technically, this should have a food station, really because of the fact that it's the food station that uses all the materials from here to make glue, but the food station looks stupid, so shut up. I opted for the chem station instead, because I'm allowed to do what I want. Yeah, because I'm an adult. So there we go, pop that in there. Put it slightly in the wrong position. I have to take off the plywood, because I'm a complete mong. Don't worry, we're nearly done. Quite cool, quite simple. I just wanted to show this off. I really should have showed off the one in Creep Mono recorded it and kind of made its own video. Didn't think. So I made it here instead. Though it did give me an excuse, obviously, to redo and actually start working on Sanctuary, which I haven't done in ages. There we go, it's nearly done. Just adding, what am I adding? Stuffs, barrels, and I think some more railings as well. I did purposely made it, you may notice I use the, um, I normally never use the railings for the stairs. I decided, you know what, I'm, I'm sick of falling off stairs when I go up things. <laughs> so, I'm adding the railings because, you know, funnily enough, that's what they're for. You know, to stop you falling to your death. So, it's going to pop the railings here. Anyway, so Torby in a second. It looks really cool. It's very, very simple. So, I had a little, a few extra bits, but not really. You've seen the mass of the, the decoration using the concrete railings here. Well, the railings from the concrete tab, not concrete railings, because they work. Anyways, here it is. There's Buddy just wandering off. I added a bit of wood and the cinder block at the bottom just to kind of break up the scaffolding a little bit. But overall, it's m relatively unchanged. Hope you guys enjoyed this. It was quite a simple build, but I just wanted to kind of get it out. Looks very cool. Also, kind of jumps me back into the vibe of actually building at Sanctuary. It made me happy. As always, follow me on Twitter at No Respawns. I've another video up tomorrow, as always. Probably an Oxygen Not Included video, I think, because I'm quite enjoying that game. You should watch some fucking awesome. Anyway, until I speak to you all, enjoy the rest of your week. Take care.